So by now, you might have already seen ChatGPT get integrated into Siri in the form of a shortcut. But the problem with every shortcut before the one I'm gonna show you today is that they only basically processed your queries through OpenAI, through ChatGPT, and spit out the result. That was it. There was nothing more complex than that. But this shortcut, SGPT by Federico Vitici, is next level. Just watch this. Create a playlist with 13 of the best workout songs that were released between 2015 and 2023. Put an emphasis on hip hop and sort them by newest to oldest. It's pretty complex. So we're gonna tap on done. Boom, playlist created, 13 songs added. Let's go to our playlist and see, let's cancel out of that. Let's go into our music, go to playlist and check this out. Up top we have F right there and take a look at this. It put an emphasis on hip hop because every single one of these are hip hop and you can see we have 13 songs that are gonna be good for working out. Tell me that's not incredible. It's integrating with iOS, macOS, any operating system you have and pulling this information and doing it for you. This shortcut also has conversational mode, which means that it's gonna remember what you said beforehand. So if you wanna change something, if it spits out a result you don't like, you could tell it to change something and it will do it. It will remember what you said previously. And by the way, I will be sharing more tips and more details on this shortcut in my free Apple Den newsletter. So make sure you're signed up for that. It is the first link down in the description below. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how to get this up and running on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or Apple Watch. It works across all Apple platforms and Again, it's going to tie in with the system functions and the system features of the device you're using, which is incredible. So first thing you need to do is head over to platform.openai.com. From here, you wanna tap on the hamburger menu up in the top right, the three lines right there, and then go to account and then to billing overview. Once you get to the billing overview, you'll probably see that you are running on a free trial. However, we are gonna have to pay a tiny amount for this to work. The reason being is because we are pulling from the OpenAI developer API, which is not free. It's gonna cost you a tiny amount. And by the way, I've been using this for a while now and my grand total for the month is under $1. So we're talking about pennies, potentially even maybe a dollar or two per month you're gonna be spending max on this. However, we do also need to set up our usage limits after you set up your billing, once you put in your credit card info, and we're gonna set a hard limit and a soft limit. So the hard limit is going to be the amount of money that you do not want to spend more than per month. So I don't want to spend more than $3 a month on this. So I put that in as my hard limit. Now my soft limit is when I'm going to get a notification in my email that I hit my soft limit and then I'm approaching my hard limit. So you want to put the soft limit a little bit below the hard limit. Once you have your billing information set up, we're going to go back to the three dots up top. We're going to go to API reference. And then from here, scroll down until you see authentication. And then you will see a link that says API keys right here. We're going to tap on that and it's going to take us to the API keys section of our settings. This page is easier to find on desktop, but I'm just showing this example on mobile. So from here, you're going to see secret keys. And from here, we're going to tap on create new secret key. Once you tap on that, you will get an API key that is generated and you do not want to share this with anybody else. You want to keep it to yourself and you will see it copied right here. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to select that and copy, and now is when we're going to download the SGPT shortcut. So I will leave this link in the description below as mentioned earlier. This is it right here. We're gonna tap on Get Shortcuts. I went ahead and deleted mine so I could do this again. We're going to go to Set Up Shortcuts, and from here is where we're gonna put in our API key. So right where it says configure, tap on paste, there we go, hit done, add shortcuts. And it says I already have a shortcut for this, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that. And you will see it work perfectly now when you go into your shortcut section right here. And then you do also want to install the SGPT encoder. Again, you have to have this for the shortcut to work. This will also be linked in the description below. You need to download both separately. And by the way, if you go into the shortcut and then scroll down until you see where it says the chat GPT model to use, and it says GPT 3.5 turbo, that is basically just saying which chat GPT model to use. So if you have access to the chat GPT four API, you would just change this to GPT dash four. But for now, I only have access to chat GPT 3.5 turbo. So I'm just going to keep that as default. And by the way, if you have any trouble setting this up, just let me know in a comment down below. And I will try to get back to you in those comments. And again, I will continue expanding on this in my newsletter. But anyways, let's have some fun. Now let me show you some more power of this. Now you already saw that we can create a full on playlist just by saying, you know, create a playlist that's good for workouts. And it's actually going to add it. You don't need 
need to take any additional step, but we're going to go a little bit further. So first off, I want to go into here and we're going to tap on the share into the shortcut and tap on the share button. And we're going to go to add to home screen and we're going to add the default name and logo. I prefer to do this by tapping on this from the home screen. You can always ask Siri to run the SGPT shortcut and then say it everything with your voice. But I just find running it from, you know, pressing a button on the home screen to be much better, much more effective and much easier for me. All right. So we're going to go into Safari and select a big block of text here. So we're going to just simply copy this. And now we're going to go back to our SGPT and I'm going to say this summarize the text that I have copied to the clipboard right now in 200 words or less. And boom, look at that. It gives us a breakdown of what happened in that article in 200 words or less. Now, what's really cool about this is watch this. I didn't like that summary. Make it a little bit more interesting and make it only 100 words this time. So again, we're having a conversation with the ChatGPT shortcut here. And this is because we have conversational mode built in. So you could see it took that. I didn't have to say anything again and take a look Look at this it makes it more interesting and also less words here's another good example of the same thing but this time not even with text just with links and i'm going to have it tell me you know the summary of these three articles summarize the three articles i have linked in my clipboard and make it 200 words or less for each how crazy is that it even says article one article two and article three that is insane but hold on it gets even crazier export chat. Take a look at that. I can copy the latest response. I can copy the full chat. I can preview the full chat. I can translate it or I can stop. Take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and preview the full chat and look what it's going to do. It's going to show me what I asked and what it spit out. How insane is that? This makes everything so much easier. What are the five best things to do in Las Vegas? Okay. Some pretty cool ideas. I'm on a budget though. I don't really have much money. What hotel can I stay in on the strip? Take a look at my calendar and tell me what weekend would I be free to go on a trip to Vegas? I want it to be from Thursday to Sunday. Make sure I don't have any events on any of those days. And here we go again. It's going to pull in the native calendar application into this query here. And it's going to check my calendar to see which days I don't have anything going on for like a Thursday to a Sunday, for example, or whatever I just said. Now you could also do your typical chat GPT things where you could ask it to write blog posts, or you could ask it for recipes and things like that. But again, the real power of this is that it integrates into your native operating system. It's going to be able to pull from like your notes, your clipboard. It's going to be able to tie into Apple music. Now, of course, this isn't, you know, fully expanded yet. It doesn't tie into every Thing on device. This is just version 1.0, but it's going to continue improving. And this shortcut is just so insanely powerful. It also ties in with shortcuts like the shortcuts application. So if you have other shortcuts, you could tie this shortcut into those shortcuts and kind of make your workflow so much easier as well. I know it's kind of confusing, especially if you're new to shortcuts and chat GPT, but trust me, it is incredible. You want to go ahead and download it and get yourself familiar with it because it is going to be a game changer on the iPhone for the foreseeable future. I honestly hope that Apple can implement something like this natively so we don't even need to rely on shortcuts but i highly doubt that's happening anytime soon give me a list of 10 rock songs that are not too hard rock but they're kind of new maybe from 2019 through 2023 and add those to a playlist called i like these all right so it created a playlist of 10 songs let's go ahead back and check out what it created let's go back here we're going to see t and it shows rock that's not hard rock. I like it. I actually like pretty much every song in here. Great job with this SGPT shortcut. As you can see, the possibilities are just simply endless. And again, the fact that this ties in to the native functions of iOS, macOS, iPadOS, watchOS, makes this just so much better than any previous chat GPT shortcut you've seen. Now, yes, it is a little bit, you know, you know, you do have to put in your billing information. It's not expensive. It's not pricey. Like I said, it's going to be maybe a couple dollars a month max, and you could set your limit so you don't actually go above that. So you're not really spending a ton of money, but it is a couple of extra steps that you do have to take. But in my opinion, it's worth it. I will be sharing more prompts and more tips and more updates on this application in my Apple Den newsletter. I will also make another video here on YouTube if this does continue, you know, getting improvements and, you know, big updates over time, which I know it will because this comes from Batichi, who has a great track record with, you know, updating his shortcuts and things like that. So I fully expect this to get more powerful as time goes on. And of course, as AI enhances as well, this will also get better, especially once GPT-4 and that API is available for everybody. This shortcut is going to be insane. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.